Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Fold 3 and the initial reviews we have seen online for people who got early units of this device. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Coming off right away, there has been mainly a lot of positive reviews about the Galaxy Fold 3. Not too many people looking at this device and saying, wow, this device is absolutely crap. But there are some, honestly, correct judgments of this device starting off right away now the biggest cons of this device and a lot of people have said this is number one the price tag the price tag of being $17.99 or $18.99 depending on what edition you do and pick up this device it is quite on the pricey side it's definitely not one of those things where you go ahead and pick up this device and you don't put out a mortgage on your house the second con of this device is going to go ahead and be the in display camera on this device when you go ahead and open it up there is a camera right there but this camera is not what you normally expect from a camera on these type of devices starting off right away it is an in uh, display camera and what that means is that the whole point of it is to go ghost when you are watching your media sometimes when you're on an iPhone you have that little notch at the very top now that notch is going to go ahead and be there no matter what you watch Netflix you watch Hulu it will always be right there in your way the whole point of the in-display camera for the Samsung products is to go ahead and go go so you cannot see it and it does not disrupt you at any time. While it still has the functionality of using it like a camera would, a lot of people had criticized it because of its quality when taking pictures. Now, not, nonetheless of it being only a 4 megapixel camera, it also is going to go ahead and give you some blurry pictures and blurry looks. And if you are going to video chat with it, you'd probably rather just use the front display one than use the inside one. Now when you look at that with the price tag of $17.99, a lot of people are starting to judge it for that reason. And to be honest, they have a good point. With the price tag of being a top premium product, even more expensive than other flagship phones, you kind of are the point where you're like, I should be getting the best of the best for this price tag. But they will go ahead and give you some other benefits elsewhere. Some other issues that have been reported is starting off right away with no S Pen included. Yes, you can get the S Pen for absolutely free with the case if you use it as your pre-order bonus with your extra credit. But if you're buying this phone after pre-order, you are honestly out of luck. You have to go ahead and spend $79.99 for an actual case with an S Pen included. And that's not even the best S Pen that Samsung offers. Uh, Samsung did go ahead and come out recently with a brand new S Pen that that is going to go ahead and retail at a $99.99 while the Ford edition that you are receiving with the case is simply a $49.99 S Pen. Also the case has had a lot of scrutiny as some people just simply do not like the case and with the other offers that Samsung does offer for the Fold 3 when it comes to case selection it is simply going to cost you an arm and a leg and not give you the high quality that you really deserve. Along with a lack of a charger in the box, you are also going to go ahead and receive another thing a lot of people have complained about, and that's simply the bulkiness of the phone. The phone is, let's say, one gigantic display split in half. Yes, you're not going to go ahead and get the clean flush look of the Surface Duo, and you're also not going to look at the thinness of an iPhone or other flagship phones made by Samsung and other carriers. Nonetheless, though, you are getting a lot built into that bulky phone, but a lot of people say that's just simply not worth it. When it is in your pocket, me personally, I have no issue. The Galaxy Fold 2 fit in my pocket without any hesitation, but to some people, that is going to go ahead and be a selling point. Whether or not they pick up the phone based on size and width of the actual phone. Our final con against this device is going to go ahead and be the battery life. Now you have to keep in mind that the new Galaxy Fold 3 does go ahead and support a 120Hz display and I've talked about this many times on previous phones including the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra where if you do go ahead and have 120Hz display you are going to go ahead and eat through your battery without any hesitation. Simply a lot of apps that you do run at that display with of course a high quality as in 1080p 
or 4K, you're going to have a lot of issues when it comes to getting throughout the day with this phone. Now, this phone does have a gigantic screen. It's gigantic 6.7 inch display when you fully open it up. So you have to imagine if you are running that at 120 hertz display while going ahead and gaming, watching Netflix or whatever it is the case, you are simply going to go ahead and eat through battery without any issue. So with all those negative things being said, let's go ahead and talk about some positive things. Starting off right away, yes, it's going to go ahead and be the durability. Something we saw with the Galaxy Fold 2 was simply it was just not durable enough. The phone display had a chance of being broken very easily. Also, of course, it was not water resistant. Well, something that Samsung definitely improved on in the new iteration of the Galaxy Fold was the screen resistance and also the waterproofing. It is now IP8 water resistant, which means it can go ahead and be submerged into water up to one meter. So whether you're all caught out in a rainstorm or you're by the pool with your family enjoying a sunny day, you do not have to worry about your Galaxy Fold 3 being destroyed by simply being out in an environment. Something that I did talk about with the negatives and the cons is that 120 hertz display and having one gigantic 6.7 inch 120 hertz display simply makes it too good to be true. And in all honesty, it is. But at the same time, you're getting everything you want and some. That hefty price tag is going to go ahead and come in for that beautiful display and once you start using it you're never going to think about that price tag again because simply you're just going to be getting so much productivity done and having such a good time all you're going to be thinking about is wow samsung made an actual good product as we mentioned before the s pen support is huge for this device starting off right away this does go ahead and mean that the phone display is also again very very much better and you can also go ahead and use an s pen for multitasking capabilities so if you guys have never used an s pen before in your life let me go ahead and just run down some simple things you can do with it air gestures you can also go ahead and take notes with it you can draw with it you can erase with it you can also go ahead and run certain commands on your phone just using the s pen alone trust me that's only the tip of the iceberg of all the great things you can use an s pen for now having the ability to use it on your galaxy fold 3 with that beautiful 120 hertz 6.7 uh, inch display is absolutely a treasure to behold. Now, the really awesome thing about the Galaxy Fold 3 is actually something that is kind of coming in from the Surface Duo, the Galaxy Flip 3, and also the future Surface Duo 2, is the fact that the mainstream is now learning about these foldable phones. They're learning about them more and more, which means app developers are actually creating more and more applications dedicated to multitasking and getting more productivity done on these foldable phones, which means a more of a market for these foldable phones what we are seeing is other companies actually coming out with foldable phones which means we're going to see a lot of applications in the near future that are customized simply for these phones and this is absolutely awesome so when you're buying this device you're not just buying this device to go ahead and buy it and move on you are buying it for a future with this device and actually have to, uh, many years to come enjoying the fold 3. So at the end of the day, we can all agree one final thing. This is a beautiful and amazing phone. Whether you have issues here and there with this device, I think we all can come together and say this is one quite amazing product. Nonetheless, guys, this upcoming Friday, we'll go ahead and have a unboxing and review of the Galaxy Fold 3 alongside with the S Pen, the S Pen case, and also the Galaxy Buds 2. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this channel if you are indeed new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.